Rushfield and um, in today's video we are going to be kickstarting the dice game. So without further ado, let's just get started. Now to get to create your new project, you need to just click on create, but please ensure that you already created the scratch account. To create your scratch account, you can watch the video in the link above to watch how to create a scratch account. All right, now to create your your new project just click on create and then it will take you to the environment all right so that this is the environment loading all right now this is the environment so now what we're going to be achieving in today's video is simple we are going to be learning how to design our sprites that is our two dice and then to show give you the code to roll all right so now to to change the, the numbers all right now let's get started so the first thing I do is to click on this to delete the sprites and then I want to paint my new sprites, the dice. So to create the first one, sorry, you click on this and then you come to paint, you select paint. But now because it's a square shape, so I'm going to select this rectangle and then pick any color that I want. So for this case, I might need something blue. Or something really blue like this, and then I, I draw my my shape. All right, so this is the idea. I have my dice, the shape for the dice. All right, so that's it. All right, so to make this, because we need a six-faced dice, so that means we are going to create six costumes. So that the first one will be for number one. The second one will be for number two, the third one will be for number three, and that continue like that. So to create more costumes, you just come to this place and then you right click and then click on duplicate, right click again, duplicate, keep duplicating until everything is six. Alright, so we've done that. So that's for the first one. And then after duplicating, we need to you know ensure that we put the numbers, the circle in between. Um, our dice so we select circle but now ensure that it's white so we move this one right there and then move this one right there oops move this one right there and now obviously now our circle is white and then we want to draw so we just want to draw one at the center all right so that's it. No, much, not much. I didn't really like that circle. All right. It's not that I'm trying to perfect, but all right. So this is the circle we're going to be working with. So let's make sure we centralize it just by just pressing the arrow keys. Just pressing the arrow keys. That's all. The left arrow key up. All right. It's at the center already. Now that's it. So for you to Copy and paste this circle on other um, costume. You just press Control plus C, Control and C to copy. Press Control C to copy, and then you come to the second, and then press Control V, Control V to paste. You see that? So we've done the copy and paste. They just drag it to the edge like this control v again they drag this also to the edge you see what i'm doing sorry about that oops okay i need to amend that i just need to click click on this once and then we're ready to go so oops so click on this again back and back that's it so let's move it mm -hmm. Alright, so that's more like two. I don't know if there are two wide apart, but that's it. So go to the third one, control V again. Now let's just keep doing that for all the numbers. Okay, you go again, control V, control V. Yeah, that's it. Do it again, and then we'll put it in the center. Don't mind me, I think the circle is more, but you, you can get the concept. Alright, so let's check this. Control V again to put this on the center. Alright, so Control V for four. And we need four. So you come right here. Control V again. 
I just keep doing that for all of the for all of the costumes. Okay. Alright, that's it right there. Alright, so that's it for four, and then you do five. This is the design aspect, so there's there's nothing really serious that we can do okay about the design right now. So that's five. Why not just duplicate that one? And then just put the one in the center. You can also do that, okay? Just duplicate the four and put it at the center. We'll just put one at the center. Alright, so. And then. And then the last one. Put it in the center. So that's five. And then the last one, which is six. So we have one there already. So let me just paste everything. One, two. Three, like that. Just keep doing that. Then um, four. Okay, just put this also in the center. I hope you caught the concept. Um, that's it. So now we've created our slide. Sorry, our sprite. All right. So we have the. This is still the same dice, but now different costume because. We want to be able to navigate to each of the costume. So, so that's it right there. So we have from one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now that's the first die, and this is it right here. So now, how do we create the second dice? Now, to create the second dice, you don't have to go through the same process again. All you need to do is just to come right here and duplicate that sprite. So right click and then click on duplicate. So we have another sprite. You see that? Okay, that's the first one. Put it there. Second, put it there. So we have another sprite. Okay. But now we we could actually give you a different color so that we can have a different feeling. So to do that, click on sprites two. I can call, call, call this dice one so that we don't mix it up. You see dice one, dice one, press enter, come right there. Oh, I mistakenly pressed delete, so let's do it again. Right click, duplicate, and the word. I said, well, let's call this dice one. Dice one, press enter. And then this is the second one. So, this is dice two. Alright, so we have two dice right there. So now to change the color, you just need to change the color of this dice as well. So you click on the costume, this is the costume right there, and then we change all of the color for this. So select I just wanted to understand the concept behind the rolling of dice. Okay, so you come to control and then you know repeat. You want it to repeat, say for example, 20 times. But now we want it to repeat what? What do we want this die to do? Alright, we want it to change costume. That is, if you come back to costume now, we want it to change costume 20 times and then give us a random number. So how do we achieve that now? To achieve that, let's get back to our code. Now, to change your costume, you just 
you come to or pick random, you see. But now, what are you picking at random? We are picking at random from number one to where? Look at like this. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. From one to six. Because we are picking at random for six. So you see, one to six. Now, when we pick at random from one to six, but before we pick at random from one to six, we need to do something. We need to ensure that let's go back to the looks and then you see what switch costume this is what we want to do first okay so that it looks like as if you're switching costume so we switch costume pick from one to six that is going to make more sense so when you switch that costume from one to six um wait wait a second or 0.5 0.05, so it looks super very fast. 0.05. Now, this is what it do. It's going to switch the costume and wait, keep switching and wait, keep switching and wait till it gives us the last number. All right now, let's try that and see. All right, so if I click on this, now let's run this code and see. Let me make it bigger. So if I click on this now, you'll see what will happen to my sprites. You see, for 20 times, although it's fast, so it gives us. When I click on it again, that's for 20 times one. When I click on it again, so that's it. We have been able to achieve that rolling effect, that changing of dice repeat. So that's the first thing. So to implement the same one on the second one, all you need to do is just drag this, and then when you feel this shaking effect, it should it's ready to enter that one, and then you just drop. Then the same code. Is on the second sprite. Can you see that right there? So it means that when I click on this, let's increase the time a bit to one second so that we can count. For now, no matter how slow it is, let's just do that. One one second. Now let's check for one second and see. So when I click on it now, see slow. It's slow now. One. But this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Boring, right? 13, 14, 15. I just want to show you the lucky pair. 16. Oh, maybe I miscounted something, but it's counting to 20. And at, at the time it gets to 20, it stops. Okay, but 0 0.1 will be too slow. I know let's put it at 0 0.05 because we want it to be very fast. So this is what we have achieved in this class how to you know design our sprites and then make them move in the next um, video i'm going to be showing you how to improve to improve on our code you know how to you know add a button how the button will trigger the dice to move and add a lot of things to it i hope you understand this if you do have questions about what we have just done about the little thing we have just done please ensure that you ask drop it in the comment section below and i'll be glad to answer every other question. Remember to tell your friends about the lovely channel and subscribe. Ensure that you subscribe. See you in the next video. Stay blessed and keep flourishing.